what we're going to show you tonight. You might go inside your local paint store and mix a few drops of pigment into a gallon of paint and take home your custom color. Tonight, we're going to take you inside the Kelly Moore Manufacturing Company where they do this big time. Did you know they did that in the Bay Area in San Carlos? Also, did you have any idea that red vines are manufactured in the Bay Area? So you want to paint your bedroom. Ooh, Pandora's purple, I want that color. You head to the paint store and they mix it for you. But where do all those gallons of pre-mixed colored paint, like Navajo white, come from? We actually go from one city block all the way to the other city block. They do it here, at this massive paint factory in San Carlos. Welcome to the Kelly Moore production facility. You have never seen anything like this. Kelly Moore Paint began operations on April 1st, 1946. If you can believe it, it all started with this machine making one gallon of paint at a time. Now they produce millions of gallons every year. And it all began as the vision of one man, William E. Moore. Mr. Moore would make the paint at night, sell it during the day, and Mrs. Moore would cut up the uh, actual color chips and, and manufacture them herself. That's the history. Let's get on with the tour. Our raw materials come into this area. Our dry raw materials are coming into this warehouse over here. And this is our liquids coming in, our different types of latex and stuff. This is where we keep all our raw materials. Every time I walk in here, I see millions of dollars of inventory. Now we're gonna go over to mixing. The mixers come out, hook their pump up to a certain tank, and they'll pump it into their batch. And we have pumps here that go into our dispersers in the plant. This is where all the raw materials come together in the first step of the process called mixing. This is a high-speed disperser. And how do all the right pigments and chemicals end up where they're supposed to? This is our raw material switchboard. The lines from the tank farm come in here and then are switched based on the computer to the various letdown tanks that we're gonna go see. This is our 16,000 gallon letdown tank, the largest letdown tank for paint anywhere in the United States. When it's full, the sides bulge. You can see it, it's just incredible. Well, right here we have a batch that's been tinted. Right now it's blending a little bit. Next step in the process is quality control. This is a visible light spectrophotometer. Basically, this gives us a readout of the color compared to a standard in the computer. We take a card like this and we put it in front of a viewport and that gives us a readout in three ways. And when it passes, then we can approve it to fill. So now it's out of quality control, everything's passed, everything's good, it's time to give it to the fillers. This is our filling area here, we fill in six heads on this, fill about 25 gallons every minute, lid goes on, here's where the handle goes on the can, down in here is our tray packer, this folds up the tray, puts four gallons in each tray. The trays that go up on a conveyor belt end up in a palletizer in another warehouse. Here's the final product, and once it's done, it gets put away in one of nine warehouses we have on our property. Enough to store over a million gallons of paint. And it all goes back to the original vision of the man who started Kelly Moore, one gallon at a time. We have always maintained the same standards that Mr. Moore set over 62 years ago. And boy, could a lot of that paint end up here and prove very useful. They could put a coat or two on this building. I hope you enjoyed the factory special. By the way, do you know one?